Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jetline Marvel. In this video, we will compare the Tejas fighter aircraft built in India with the Herjet fighter aircraft built in Turkey. Let's see what we've been waiting for. The Herjet is a single engine, tandem seat supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. In the fourth quarter of 2022, it is likely to take off. Let us take a closer look at Herjet. The company began the project in August 2017 using its own funds. Turkey is apparently going forward with the Herjet light attack aircraft's initial phase of mass manufacturing in 2022. Sierra Nevada firms in the United States are claimed to be supporting the effort. The aircraft will be capable of air-to-air -air refueling, fly-by-wire with parameter limiting, a built-in auxiliary power unit, a night vision goggle-compatible cockpit, a head-up display, and an integrated helmet display system. The company already designed simulator avionics, flight control systems, displays, cockpits, and communication systems. The HAL Tejas is a single-engine, delta-wing, multi-role light fighter, built for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy by the Aeronautical Development Agency in partnership with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's and Aircraft Research and Design Center. Herjet and Tejas both have a crew capacity of one to two seats. Herjet is 13 meters long, whereas Tejas is 13.2 meters long. The Herjet has a wingspan of 9.8 meters, whereas the Tejas has an 8.2 meter wingspan. Herjet height is 4.2 meters, while Tejas height is 4.4 meters. The GE-built F404 afterburning turboprop engine, which can produce 79 kN, may power the Herjet. The Tejas, on the other hand, is powered by a General Electric F404 IN20 afterburning turbofan that generates 85 kN with an afterburner and is controlled by electronic system. The Turkish force intends to use the design to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon in the trainer role and also to supplement the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon for close air support. The aircraft is also planned to replace the Northrop F-5 used by the Turkish Stars aerobatic team. A naval version of the aircraft may also be developed. The company also plans to pursue export orders to countries looking to replace older trainer and ground attack aircraft. Turkey has invited Malaysia to join the Herjet project in the role of producing some parts for the aircraft. In terms of speed, Tejas is more powerful with a Mach 1.6 speed of 1,980 km per hour, whereas Herjet has a speed of roughly Mach 1.4, which is 1,728 km per hour. In terms of range, the Herjet has a range of 2,222 km, whilst the Tejas has a range of roughly 1,850 km. Tejas has a greater service ceiling of roughly 53,000 feet, whereas Herjet is planned to reach 45,000 feet. The Herjet has a maximum payload of 3,000 kilos, whereas the Tejas has external reserves of roughly 5,300 kilograms. HAL is working on the Tejas MK2 4.5 generation fighter jet, while AMCA is working on the 5th generation fighter jet, both of which are anticipated to be seen in the coming days. Tejas, on the other hand, is working on its own engine in partnership with France and has already begun weapon development. The Canner Delta Wing is used in the Tejas Mark II design, which increases lifting force, control stability, and flow changes over the main wing. Herjet may equipped with locally designed ammunition such as Sirit, Tiber, HGK, and LGK. 
It can also utilize GPS-guided bombs, conventional bombs, non-guided rockets, and machine guns, according to the inertial navigation system. Armored body sections, a self-protection system, a data link, laser tacking, an electro-optical and infrared pod, an external fuel tank, and advanced avionics are all included in the armed herjet. The herjet can execute light attack and armed reconnaissance missions with a 3,000 kg payload that can be employed through seven external hardpoints. When it comes to Tejas, it features eight hardpoints that can carry a variety of weaponry such as the S-8 rocket, R-73, I-Derby, Python, KH-59ME, KH-59M, and 59T missiles. A S Hammer. KH-35 and 59MK are two variants of the KH-35. It can also transport precision-guided weapons such as the SPICE, JDAM, DRDO SAO, laser-guided bomb, cluster munition, an unguided bomb, and many more. The Herjet is estimated to cost roughly $50 million per fighter. As of the 2021 price list, the Tejas fighter jet's flyaway cost for the export variant is roughly US $41 million. In 2021, the Malaysian Air Force issued a tender for 18 aircraft, which included both training and combat aircraft. The selection of an aeroplane for Malaysia is now in the final stages between Turkey and India. Both nations are putting up several proposals in order to establish this long-term agreement. Turkish Aerospace has launched the Herjet program in response to the multi-role aircraft market's potential, leveraging its experience and skills in the design and production of cost-effective trainer light aircraft systems. Conclusion Both aircraft have the ability to perform well within their own constraints. Herjet is a pre-existing design frame with high strength that may be utilized for a variety of applications. Tejas, on the other hand, is an already built aircraft that is now undergoing testing, resulting in increased market interest. Tejas may have more weapons produced by various countries, but both aircraft have yet to prove themselves in combat. Please leave your thoughts on both aircraft in the comments box, and please subscribe to our channel if you are new to it. Thank you.